Quick, like and subscribe for insane luck in every game. What is going on everybody? I'm back making another video and in today's video I want to be talking about the future updates in this game because last week we got some interesting news that we're only going to be getting updates every two to three weeks when they're ready but the updates are going to be way way bigger. And just before we get into that I wanted to cover something from my previous video real quick. So if this isn't interesting to you, just skip ahead a quick minute. But in my last video, I made a video about how to hatch rainbow huge pets because in my clan, I hatched two huge pets in the past few days and one of them was the rainbow robber pug. And in that video, I said that I'm in the cat clan and I don't care about the drama. Like I'm just helping my clan out. I have some friends in here, so I don't really care what anyone says. So of course, everyone had to bring the drama to me. My top comments were, for those wondering, he doesn't show you how to hatch rainbow huges, rather just goes into the trading plaza and sells stuff for his clan half the video. And then other people commented, yeah, that's why he's in clickbait clan. Like, dude, I did show you guys how to hatch rainbow huges. There's no magic wand that's like, do this magic trick and you'll just instantly hatch a rainbow huge. Obviously, it's based off of luck. And I didn't even clickbait. I proved that I hatched a rainbow huge. I literally hatched two of them. And then I said the method. You have to put on some good farming enchants and potions, fill your coins up every day, and then go AFK hatch every day. And you kind of have to have the huge hunter game pass. But if you don't, at least get a bunch of huge hunter books. And this will increase your chances of getting huge huges. I literally said that in the video, and then I went and sold some stuff to donate to my clan at the end of the video. Like, it wasn't clickbait. The video just would have been one minute long if all I did was show you guys how to hatch rainbow huges. You literally farm in the final area, you put on your huge hunter enchants, and you hatch for days on end. That's how I hatched a rainbow huge. It wasn't clickbait. <laughs> like, I don't understand why people are getting mad at me just because I talked about my clan. Of course they had to start drama right when I said I I didn't want to be in drama. But yeah, I just wanted to address that real quick. I try to bring you guys accurate and helpful videos. I bring good information in all my videos and I don't clickbait. Okay, this one video was a little questionable. How to hatch a rainbow huge. Obviously not everyone's gonna hatch a rainbow huge, but I still showed the method on how to be most likely to hatch one. I can't control the fact that it's random. You have to get lucky at the end of the day, obviously. It's not guaranteed that everyone's gonna hatch a rainbow huge, but I did. I hatched multiple huges and I still showed the way that I did it. But as for today's video, we need to talk about upcoming updates. I just wanted to get that stuff from the previous video out of the way. So today's Friday. Usually we would have an update tomorrow and we would have some leaks dropping right now. But if you go over to the big games Twitter, there are no leaks. Even if I check around on leaks channels that I'm not really allowed to leak myself, I don't see anything. So what we know for sure is we're getting Rebirth 3 in the next update because Rebirth 3 is right here in Area 75, and we're currently at Area 74. And there's also been a lot of rumors about the castle from way back here opening up. Because if you guys don't remember, there's a fairy castle at Area 58. If we go back a little bit farther, and there's a lock on this castle that you can actually click E on, and it says coming soon. So everyone thinks we're getting a second castle, kind of like this castle where you go to the trading plaza, but there's going to be other stuff in this new one. So we've had some speculation about that for a couple of weeks, and speculation about Rebirth 3 and probably rank 15. Speaking of, I still need to grind through rank 14 and 13. <laughs> it just takes so long. I really don't want to do quest for hours every day, but if you guys are going to continue doing your rank up quest, I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm just not doing it today. But if you guys are going to continue doing your rank up quest, try to get the diamond breakables quest as your two star quest, because you can only have one of each quest at the same time. And the diamond breakables one is the one that takes forever. So if you get diamond breakables as your two star quest, you can do the three and the four star quest way easier. 
That's how I got through rank number 12 super fast. I just thought I should mention that for you guys if you're still trying to rank up. But yeah, I kind of want to give you guys some tips on how to prepare for the next update, but I don't really know when the next update is. I'm 99% sure it's not tomorrow because we just got an update last week and they just announced how they're not going to do weekly updates anymore. But as of preparing for the update, it could be a week away. It could be two weeks away. And I would prepare the same way I've told you guys to prepare before every other update. So if you're not super focused on the current clan battle, you're not constantly hatching huges 24-7. Then if you want to prepare, obviously rank up like I was telling you to and get the Diamond Breakables quest as your two-star, but also try to get this new massive comet enchant because this is like the new best chess mimic just for farming. It'll drop tons of items, diamonds, and coins. So if you're literally just farming the game every single night, trying to get items and prepare for the next update, then I would definitely recommend trying to get Massive Comet or at least getting a bunch of Strength, Critical, and Treasure Hunter. And then you'll just break stuff in the final area super fast and get tons of drops. But yeah, let me take off coins and put on Chess Mimic and Massive Comet. These are super good for getting extra items, diamonds, coins. What else could you do to prepare? You could also just do a diamond farm and you actually don't even need the new diamond enchant to do the diamond farm. I have multiple videos on diamond farms as well, but pretty much you just use a few critical books and then a bunch of diamond books and a couple fortune books. And the reason you don't want to use all diamond books is because they don't stack as much after a certain point. So use a couple critical, a couple diamonds, a couple fortune, and then this will get you diamonds super fast farming in the final area as well. So there's many different types of farms you could do. You could just farm for items or farm for diamonds, or you could farm for coins multiple times every day and go hatch the egg and try to hatch yourself a huge pet. I honestly don't know which would be the most efficient to progress in value and just get better at the game in general before upcoming updates. But I'll say this, if you do not have Huge Hunter as a game pass, I would recommend doing diamond farms and item farms because you can just make so much more from diamond farming and trading than trying to hatch huges if you don't have the Huge Hunter game pass. I'm, I'm just gonna say it straight up, like a lot of people were mad about my video yesterday saying you have to have the Huge Hunter Game Pass if you want to hatch a huge, kind of yeah. And that's not my fault. The Huge Hunter Game Pass makes it 25 times easier, and even with it 25 times easier and using a bunch of Huge Hunter enchants, it still took me days and days just to hatch two huges. And I also have magic eggs, so that's probably half the reason that I hatched a rainbow huge. So sadly, yes, you do have to have game passes or it's going to take you like months to hatch a huge most likely. So if you don't have huge hunter, I don't mean to be rude, but I literally just would not participate in this event. You're going to be disappointed if you're hatching for weeks on end and you don't get a single huge for your clan when you could have just been diamond farming and trading and making way more. So I'll just say that in terms of preparing for the next update. If you guys are trying to get better and get more value, it kind of depends on what game passes you have. Like, you guys don't see me AFK hatching the egg on my Doggy to Titanic account, because obviously that would be pretty useless. I don't have Huge Hunter, and I don't have, like, 80 eggs opened on my Doggy to Titanic account. I don't even have the final egg unlocked. So do what can make you the most value. If you're not good at trading, then you can do the diamond farming method in the final area and just make a ton of diamonds until you have enough to buy something. Or even if you're bad at trading, but you know a little bit about trading, then you can just do the super easy trades. Just do what I do like half of the time in Dog to Titanic where I buy something for cheap and then I sell it for diamonds. And then it's really easy to keep up with stuff. The bad traders or the people that don't know what they're doing that much, they end up losing a lot more value from pet to pet trades because they don't know what every individual pet is worth. So that's usually where they take an L. But if you're literally just buying pets for gems and then selling them for a little bit more or doing that with enchants or whatever you want, find something that works that you can just consistently flip over and over. And then you don't have to worry about doing the math wrong or not knowing what a specific pet is worth. Just only trade for specific things and then just 
only sell them for more. So if you're having a hard time trading and you take L's all the time, just do the really simple trades. Don't trade like a good huge pet for a bunch of random items that you don't know what it's worth, or trade a bunch of your huge pets for some really weird huge that nobody knows what it's worth. Like Stuff like that is really risky, and if you're not taking a proper risk, if you don't know that you can get an overpay for whatever you're getting, then that's how people end up taking L's when they just don't really know what they're doing. There's a lot of people that want to trade, but they're just scared to get into trading because they're afraid of losing more than they're going to gain. And it's true, that's just part of trading. Somebody takes a win, somebody takes a loss. Otherwise, it would just be dead even trades every single time, and nobody would ever gain anything, so nobody would ever trade. So if you're going to trade, it's a player versus player game. You gotta try to win. That's the name of the game, is trying to win. But yeah, in terms of the update, like I said, I'm really sorry I don't have much information. I just wanted to make a general video on a bunch of different things you could do to prepare for the update, what to do in the meantime, because right now we just have a lot of dead time and there's not much to do other than gain some value, progress through the game, prepare for the next update, and that's what I'm trying to help you guys out with. So if you did enjoy this video, make sure to hit the like button and let me know down below. Subscribe if you have not already, and hit the bell if you want to know when I go live or upload again. I'll see you all in the next one very soon. Peace out, everybody. Thank you